Hey what's up guys, it's Combo here, welcome to some team deathmatch gameplay here on Havana. We'll be using the stakeout and finally another different map than Nuketown, right? So we're getting a little bit of map variety in here and this video I have a topic I wanted to talk about and that is the death of Pro Perks in Black Ops 2. Um, it's in response to 402 Thunder 402's video or just Thunder, whatever you guys want to call him, Thunderstruck. Um, he's a YouTuber that I'm subscribed to, I love watching his videos pretty much every day he uploads them. He's one of those YouTubers that you can pretty much count on the uh, the content being entertaining for the you know eight or however many minutes he's his video is. But pretty much, guys, he made a video yesterday saying um, talking about the pro perks in Black Ops 2, um, and you know how there there won't be any pro perks in there, and how that will affect the game. But before I get into that, I wanted to say uh, a few things here. I had an open lobby yesterday here on Black Ops. I'm not quite sure what happened there. I didn't really see the guy I stuck the grenade to, but I think he walked out of the room and blew me up with him. I don't know, but <laughs> it was really weird. Um, but I, yeah, like I said, I had an open lobby yesterday, and um, it didn't really... I don't know if everybody was in school or if um, you know it was at the wrong time or something. But you know, for those who don't know, I, I, I post my friend code on Facebook and Twitter. Um, I tweeted out and I post, posted on the, on the Facebook fan page. And uh, I leave my friend code there, you guys add it, and we have an open lobby for an hour or something like that, uh, depending on how many people were there. Yesterday, about only about, um, you know, 10 people showed up, so like one lobby pretty much. And we played a few games, we had a little bit of fun there. There was, uh, there was a troll that joined this darn uh, open lobby and was trying to mess it up. He went like 0-35 the, this one match when he was on my team, then he switched teams. And he started going ham, like noob tube and everybody. I don't know guys, I, I don't know if you guys, some of you out there just trolling me or trying to make me rage or something, but he was famosing me, noob tubing me, trying to lake me, everything, but uh, nonetheless guys, we, we had a little bit of fun, and like I said, I just uh, wanted to let you guys know that pretty much my Wii is, is like at the brink of blowing up, it's pretty much dead, to be honest with you guys. Um, I'm going to throw in it at the end, but you know, I'm sure it happened to a lot of you guys when you were playing Black Ops or Modern Warfare 3. Especially early in Black Ops, there were a lot of problems with Wii's breaking and all that kind of stuff, but uh, they released a patch and it fixed it a little bit. Um, but pretty much, you know, it, it, the Black Ops and Modern Warfare 3, they're, they're pretty tough on your Wii. Uh, you guys probably know that. I mean, it, it requires a lot of the Wii to, to, to actually like run the game. Even in its simplified version with no kill streaks, like no big kill streaks, no chopper gunner or anything like that, it still is uh, pretty tough for the Wii to, to handle. So you guys already know that. But um, so pretty much in my open lobby yesterday, I was hosting it uh, for about two, two or three matches into it, and uh, the third match it was getting pretty bad. My gun actually didn't even load up the the entire match. My Wii was making weird sounds, and then all of a sudden the uh, you guys know that high pitch sound and the, the game freezes in the, on the frame that it's on and it just makes that really high pitch sound. You guys probably know what I'm talking about, but I'll, yeah, I'm going to throw it in at the end. Uh, but pretty much that's what happened, so like, pretty much that's that's all that happens when, uh, when I try to play on the Wii anymore. Uh, I think my Wii's just about had it. I, I gotta show you guys all of the, um, look at this, I'm stuck on my teammate in the door, but I'm like three feet behind him. I, I'm just running, come on, like teammate move. Oh my god. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I'm going to throw it in at the end. I think my Wii's just about had it. And uh, good thing the Wii U is only a few months away. Um, but I've been playing a little bit of Xbox 360, as you guys know. Um, in the meantime, I still have a good good, uh, a good amount of videos here uh, with the Wii gameplay. So not need, no need to worry about that. But uh, school starts for me here September 4th. So I might host another open lobby uh, before that. Maybe the Monday of Labor Day because I know people will be home. Uh, but I'm not exactly sure about that. I'll have to, to see how my Wii's feeling and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, guys, let's get into the topic here. Uh, finally, we have um, the Pro Perks thing. Now, I, I personally like how there's no Pro Perks in Black Ops 2, right? So you have pretty much sim simple perks. And if you think about it, the last time you had simple non-Pro Perks in a Call of Duty game was back in uh, Call of Duty 4. Or end World at War. I mean, World at War had it, but World at War for the Wii actually came out before Call of Duty 4 did. Um, so I guess the last time the Wii players had simplified perks with you know no pro benefit or no pro version of the perk was back in Reflex, which is Call of Duty 4. So um, if you think back to that that game, it was actually a really good game. You know, the perks were pretty much balanced for the most part. Not too many people used the the 3x uh, grenade on on Wii. 
which is uh, the common complaint of a perk on you know the other consoles and stuff. Um, I know the grenades were they were pretty powerful, but you know other than that, the the uh, the game was overall a, r a really good game, and like I said, there were, there wasn't any really pro perks or anything like that, so you didn't have to worry about that. But um, Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops, um, Modern Warfare 3, they all had pro versions of perks, and in Black Ops 2, like I said, there will be no pro perks. So pretty much what you what you do, like when you put your your uh, your perk on. That's all you're gonna get. You're not gonna get a pro benefit of the perk or a different benefit of the perk for using it a certain amount of time, like kind of in here. But in my opinion, this is a good thing because the simpler the game is, the better. In my opinion, I mean, if you look at it, Call of Duty World at War and and Call of Duty uh, 4 were, were per like really balanced games, other than maybe a little bit of weapon balancing in uh, World at War with the MP40 and stuff. They were pretty balanced games and perks uh, with perks. Modern Warfare 2 obviously had its perk unbalance is with uh, you know danger close or one man army all that kind of stuff. But in my opinion, I think um, I think pro perks are are better left out of the game because I think in my opinion it gives people more motivation to kind of prestige if you think about it because you work so hard to get some of the pro perks. Uh, for example, like Tac Mass Pro, like Thunder mentioned in his video, it takes so long to get Tac Mass Pro, especially with the darn Nova Gas. It's pretty tough to get that, and if you get it, you know you're, you're probably uh, you're probably going to use it a lot, and you don't really want to lose it when you prestige. So, in my opinion, it'll get players to prestige more. It will. It, it definitely. I was a prestige player always. You know, I always prestige and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but but now that uh, you know, now that there's no pro perks that you have to lose and everything, all you have to worry about is losing is your just your, your weapons, all that kind of stuff. Um, then I will, I, I won't hesitate to prestige in Black Ops too. Um, but like I said, no pro perks makes the game more balanced in my opinion. It makes it simpler and it makes it easier to to just worry about simple gun battles instead of you know pro perks and all that kind of stuff. But um, I don't know, guys. What do you think about it? Would you rather have pro perks back in Black Ops 2, where you can, you know, complete challenges for it, and then unlock the pro version where you get another benefit, or do you, or would you rather perks play a smaller role in the Call of Duty game and uh, not be pro and just have more gun-on-gun -gun battle? So I don't know, guys. What do you think? I think pro perks are better left out of the game. But that's pretty much my take on it. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about it. And thank you for watching to this point if you are. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys later.